Hi everyone. I've been asked how to play MIDI without an external MIDI keyboard connected to the computer. And I'm going to demonstrate this using the virtual MIDI keyboard at the bottom of the screen here. If you click anywhere onto a blank area of the MIDI keyboard, it will overlay the characters that you need to play on your computer keyboard to produce the notes on the musical stave on the keyboard here. But what I'm going to do is try to replicate the first bar of Frank Mills's Music Box Dancer using just the mouse and then edit it. So let's have a, a bash it play in it. Let's try this. And that's what we're going to try to play. So what we'll do, we'll start recording here and we'll just play it. And we'll stop that recording. And what we've got now is an object in the timeline here on track one that is using the Piano Pro if we click on the inspector tab here that is now that object those yellow marks there is that instrument I've just played if we scroll across there are the eight notes I've just played what I'm going to do because they're all highlighted in yellow I'm just going to click and drag them to the start make sure <laughs> Make sure you keep it on the same note. If you actually move them up and it's playing on D. So we'll keep that there. What I'm going to do is to zoom in a little bit across the timeline and I'm going to unhighlight everything, click away from it. And I'm going to make each of these half a beat long. Here is the beat. You've got one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, and I'm going to make them all half a beat long, which means making them four eighths of notes here. So we've got that four, and we'll take the next one. You have to fiddle about with it a little bit. And lock it onto that one. And the next one. Oops came from. Extend it a little bit to that four notes there. Take the next one. Extend that one to four notes. We can reduce this timeline slightly so we can see the other notes that I played. I didn't play them very well and certainly not in time so we'll take this one. Keep it on the note that we wanted. Let's just play those notes for now. Okay, we'll scroll across. In fact, let's just zoom out a little bit so we can pick them all up. Let, let's pick these notes up and move them over a bit. Oops, let's let them all. Drag, drag them across the screen so we don't have to mess about with them. Now let's zoom in a little bit so we can play about with them. There we go. So this was the last note we played. That one's now on the wrong note, which means all of the others are on the wrong note. So let's drop those down. That's on the right note. Click and drag that one across to there. Shorten it to those four eighth notes. And the next one. Make that one four beats long, four notes long, and the last one. And extend that to four notes. Click away. Let's just play that. That'll do. And that is now the object we've got on this first track. 
we can cut off that right hand end, hover, click and drag and take that back to one bar. We can also reduce all of this playtime back, click and drag to just that one bar. And we can zoom into that timeline a little bit so we can see what we've got. Zoom out a little bit. Well, let's play that. Okay, we'll stop that. We can go back to the keyboard if you want to and look at the instrument that's being played. It's playing on Piano Pro 1. And if we click on this button here, this will bring up the instrument or the synthesizer or engine, whatever you want to call it, that is producing that sound. And if we play this, you will notice on the keyboard here, it will replicate the notes that are being played. Although some of the black ones are difficult to see, but you will see playing them all. Let's just play it. Okay, we'll stop that. Now, if you notice at the moment, they're all playing on the same velocity. In other words, it's though I'm stamping on each key at the same rate. If you listen, they all start with the same attack level. Let's play it. We'll stop that. If we click again on the Inspector tab, highlight the object, click on the Inspector tab, and on the top left-hand menu here, what looks like a graphic equaliser is actually the velocity control for each of those notes. If you click on that velocity control, it's now shown you all of the eight notes I've just played, and here is the velocity that they're playing them at for each of those notes, these vertical blue bars here. And you can change the velocity of each note. So what I'm going to do is click and drag this second note down a slightly, and the third one, and the fourth one. And I'm going to leave the fifth one as it is at the moment. I'm going to drag the sixth one down a little bit, and the seventh, and the eighth. And if we play that now, If you notice, these are now playing as though I didn't press the key quite so hard, and you can reduce them down. And magic, if you reduce it down more and more, and click away, if you notice, it highlights the, the note on a velocity scale. It changes the colour of the note, and as you turn it up, it changes it again. Click away. So that is a slightly lighter blue than the first note, so that is slightly softer. And again, we've got one that's slightly lighter than the first note. And we can reduce that one. And you can play about with all of these and make the notes sound how you want them to sound, as though you played the keyboard differently in the start. Let's play it. OK, we'll increase that first one again. You can play about with these all you like. Just change them at will. We'll drop that uh, fifth one down just a fraction again play it. OK, we'll stop that. On the Vita synthesizer here, we can play about with the envelope control here. And at the moment, because these sound quite blunt when they stop, so when, they, when I let the key go, it sounds quite blunt. Let's play it. Stop that. We can actually increase the release time for the notes on that piano. And this will make them linger slightly longer than they did. Let's play it again. So you can see now the notes linger a little bit longer. Increase that a little bit more. We can also change the attack. So rather than the notes sounding quite sharp when they play, you can actually make them sound slightly softer. Let's just move the attack up slightly and play that. So you can see, you can play about with the envelope for that object as well. Play that for the last time. We'll take the attack back down to zero. 
we'll close that down and we'll go back to the keyboard and there's the object it's only one bar long so we'll just play that Thanks for watching.